From some massive catalysts for Dogecoin and the recent surge in its price to all the latest data and updates from the crypto world, this is going to be a very important video. So let's talk about it. So we are now seeing that there has been a resurgence in attention towards Dogecoin after a series of recent whale moves with some extremely large transactions. Analysts have seen big things for Doge, including a forecast of a return to its previous 73 cents level by the end of 2024, which would represent a 500% increase from the price as of April 20, 2022. While whale moves tend to trend the coin higher, it's the addition of accessibility that ultimately brings on higher demand, including the Robinhood announcement that its new cash card can invest your spare change into Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin. Meanwhile, rumors are also circulating that eBay could soon accept Doge, Bitcoin, and Ethereum for payments. Other ways to obtain the meme coin include from global crypto exchange Coinbase Global, sometimes as Burger King rewards from restaurant brands International, and for live streaming on the popular social media platform Hello Pal International. In May of 2021, the popular live streaming social media platform Hello Pal International made history when it became the market's first listed company focused on Dogecoin mining. Reaction to the announcement was swift, causing a surge in traffic so heavy it temporarily caused a website outage. As per the shift, users could now take part in the mining process of both Litecoin and Dogecoin by either owning or partly owning crypto mining rigs. So far the decisions paid off, as Hello Pal's addition of Dogecoin mining rigs delivered strong additional revenues in the most recent quarter. Since then, it's gone on to add to its fleet of Anbiner L7 mining rigs to its current total of 400. Meanwhile, after having moved its mining operations to North America, and while the majority of its live streaming user base is in Asia, Hello Pal signed a letter of intent with one of Europe's largest non-custodial crypto wallet providers by user numbers, Unicrypt. As Hello Pal's live streaming operations continue to expand to new markets, the ability to carry out cross-border payments becomes more and more relevant, lending credence to Unicrypt services leading to a distinct advantage. And since they have accepted Dogecoin, this development is very bullish for the coin. Now, we also know that late in the fall of 2021, restaurant brands International and its flagship chain Burger King appeased the crypto world by offering free crypto and putting Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Doge on their menu. The promotion gave away crypto to members of its Royal Perks loyalty program whenever they spent $5 on the Burger King app. Most people, not surprisingly, received Dogecoin as the prize pool consisted of 2 million Doge, 200 Ethereum, and 20 Bitcoin. And now Robinhood appears to be solidly backing Dogecoin, having reportedly the stable amount worth $4.9 billion in Dogecoin. This is a number that allegedly accounts for 31.7% of circulating Dogecoins. Through microtransactions that round up each transaction, users of Robinhood's new card simply called the Robinhood Cash Card are being incentivized to invest their change into either stocks or cryptos, which would include Doge. As per the company's blog post announcement, when customers invest in themselves, Robinhood money will give them a bonus of 10 to 100% on their weekly roundups. As they spend, customers can choose to round up their change to the nearest dollar and invest it in their choice of assets. The weekly bonus is their way to show their support for their customers' investing goals. Meanwhile, Coinbase Global has been testing out a new subscription product that allows users to exchange digital assets such as Dogecoin without trading fees. According to CFO Alicia Haas, transaction revenues from trading fees historically made up the bulk of Coinbase's revenue, generating $2.2 billion in transaction fees revenue in Q4 2021 alone. Lastly, in the online marketplace that sells perhaps the widest range of goods on the internet, including NFTs, eBay might soon take crypto payments, according to a report from The Street. As per the interview, eBay just completed its transition to managing payments, and they're now managing $85 billion in volume on their platform directly. And it is highly likely that the firm is now going to accept payments in Dogecoin and other cryptos. So these are some very positive catalysts for Dogecoin. And we have just seen that its utility is increasing, and this rise in adoption is expected to help Doge reach new highs in terms of value. And now, some other news for Doge is that its profitability has been increasing.
As per Into the Block, the profitability of Doge has increased to almost 60% as the coin successfully avoided bearish movements and successfully withstood the selling pressure previously on the market. As the metric suggests, the profitability of Dogecoin currency stays at 5% as Doge trades just over 14 cents and is facing a strong price increase in the last three days, gaining around 10% to its value. According to the profitability metric, most Doge holders are no longer at a loss in contrast to Marchi's data. Only a month ago, the profitability of Dogecoin as an investment tool was approximately 40%, which is considered extremely low for such volatile assets as cryptos. The spike in profitability also suggests that a major portion of the coins held by investors were purchased in the 15 to 16 cents range. So besides the obvious attractiveness of an asset, profitability is an important tool for traders and investors who aim at evaluating the asset's market conditions. Historically, assets with extremely high profitability above 90 to 95% face reversals as they are strongly overbought. In contrast, assets with extremely low profitability are oversold in the long term. And since holders of assets like Doge are not likely to sell their holdings at a large loss, assets with low profitability are less likely to face strong selling pressure. So this is yet another bullish indicator for Doge indicating a bullish momentum for it. And now, let's come to Bitcoin for a minute. So Bitcoin's price extended its advances for the second consecutive session and it is now trading just above the 41k price mark. This recent price activity indicates that the bulls are attempting a comeback, and Bitcoin has challenged the March lows, indicating that the price has found double support, which could catapult it to swing highs. Additionally, with a positive bias, the daily relative strength index pierces above the average line, and the MACD is oscillating into the negative territory, but with positive momentum. As a result, Bitcoin's climb will likely continue in the following days. Meanwhile, a crypto quant technical analyst, Ming-Q Wu, stated that a significant coin volume was moved out through spot exchanges during the Bitcoin sell-off. He mentioned the possibility of whales buying a considerable amount of Bitcoin since the outflow size could only proceed through the check for spot exchanges top 10 Bitcoin outflows. According to Wu, the 37k to 40k mark stands as the Bitcoin price range in the crypto's critical accumulating phase. This move has long begun in March 2022. Also, Wu advised investors to keep their holdings or purchase more of the dips if possible. Moreover, Wu explained that Bitcoin has gotten below the 200MA support from the 2024 quarter. This means that Bitcoin would have more accumulation of smart money. Moving on, we are now seeing that widely tracked crypto strategist smart contractor who accurately predicted the Bitcoin bear market lows in 2018 says that a strong Bitcoin bounce is in sight. He is saying that Bitcoin is in the midst of a five-wave downtrend in the lower time frame. According to the crypto strategist, he sees Bitcoin igniting a rally this week with a target of around 45k. While the crypto strategist is bullish on Bitcoin, he also warns traders that the rally will be short-lived. Meanwhile, crypto analyst Plan B says that barring a black swan event, all the indicators point to a bright future for Bitcoin in the coming months. The analyst lays out the case for why he thinks numerous Bitcoin metrics look so positive. He is saying that the risk of being called a moon boy, all the signals, whether you look fundamentally, like the stock to flow for example, or on chain, realized cap or other metrics, or in the news, the macro news, the number of countries that are opening up to Bitcoin, everything is positive. Plan B is known for applying the S2F model, which is traditionally used in commodities markets and compares an asset supply to the rate at which it's being produced, to Bitcoin. While Bitcoin has recently underperformed relative to Plan B's S2F model, the analyst says big rallies are still in the cards for the flagship crypto. The trader says that while the possibility of the unexpected remains that might derail Bitcoin's next rally, he's keeping his eye on when Bitcoin futures premiums start to rise as an indication that the next rally has begun. On the other hand, Michael Saylor believes that Bitcoin is a critical hedge against the dangers of inflation. Speaking with Bloomberg Technology, the MicroStrategy chairman and CEO shared his thoughts on why he believes Bitcoin is a viable solution to inflation. He said that if you go back two years when MicroStrategy first bought in, Bitcoin is up to 400% and has dramatically outperformed the Nasdaq or gold or any other asset you could have bought.
So this clearly shows that Bitcoin has outperformed traditional assets and it has turned out an effective hedge against rising inflation. And now, another positive news for Bitcoin and the overall market is that a new ETF is going to be launched in Australia. As per recent reports, Cosmos Asset Management's Bitcoin ETF, Australia's first Bitcoin exchange-traded fund, will be listed on the CBO Equities trading platform next week. The Cosmos Fund invests in crypto through the purpose Bitcoin ETF that was listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange last November. And there is speculation of about $1 billion in inflows when the ETF goes live in Australia next week. And now coming back to Dogecoin, we have just seen some huge catalysts for it. And it is now expected that Doge is going to make some bullish moves from here. In any case, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section below.